I was a bit surprised with the team selection because I felt like Alex Greenwood was definitely going to play. It wasn't going to be a matter of if she would play, it'd be a matter of where, whether that be left back, whether that be centre back. So I was, I'm sure she felt really disappointing in that situation because I like Rachel Daly. I like her as a person. I like her as a player. But I feel like when you're playing a right-sided, right-footed player on the left side, I think it made, she almost in the second half started to play the ball into Millie Bright for her to ping the ball out to Lauren Hemp. Because that technique of being able to ping that ball on the left foot, or like what Alex Green would usually do, she bends it around the back line. So I felt like that was something that I don't think we'll be able to get away with later on in the tournament, playing a right-footed player at left back. I just don't see, I really don't see the point in it. That would be my only criticism. I thought Georgia Stanway had her best game I've ever seen her have in an England shirt. I actually gave her, gave her a player of the match during the game, and I'm glad that they gave her it officially at the stadium as well, because sometimes, you know, football's a matter of opinions, but... I thought defensively and attacking wise, offensively, she was brilliant and she was doing slide tackles. She was getting stuck in. She was playing through balls. And I'm glad that it didn't go unnoticed along with Kira Walsh. Again, absolutely brilliant. I think there was definitely nerves. I definitely think that, which actually surprised me um, because, like I said, people were kind of making mistakes that they wouldn't usually make. So I put that down to nerves and it is playing for your country. I mean, these girls are now playing in big games. They're playing at Wembley. They're playing, you know, in, in Champions Leagues where there's a lot of people there. But it's also quite different to playing at Kings Meadow with Chelsea to then playing at a 70,000 seat stadium at Old Trafford. And the substitute she did bring on, Chloe Kelly, absolutely brilliant again. I love how direct she is. I love when she picks up the ball. I thought she was brilliant. Alicia Russo actually should have scored. And it's only one chance, but I feel like, I still feel like the number nine spot's up for grabs. I really do. I know Ellen White's done brilliantly in tournaments, but hasn't had a great year at Manchester City. And I genuinely believe that Serena Vigman still, maybe if Alicia Russo would have scored, that would give food for thought for her going into the next couple of games. Because I don't genuinely believe Serena Vigman is choosing players based upon what they've done before. I feel like she's making in-game decisions of what she can do now. And the fact that Beth Mead scored, I think she needed that desperately because she's been brilliant for Arsenal this year, player of the year. But she hasn't really played great in the leading up to the tournament for England. So I was really happy for Bev because I love the girl. I think she's brilliant. And I'm glad she got her goal. I think definitely Chloe Kelly has been breathing down Beth Mead's neck for a long time now. And I think it's healthy competition. I think Chloe Kelly will probably, if she gets a start, I think it'll probably be against against Northern Ireland, potentially. Um, I think Serena Vigman's chosen Beth as a, as a main, you know, number seven on the wing. But I do think that she's open to putting her in there. So for me... The only change that I would personally make, Alex Greenwood, I mean, defensively, they're never really going to make a defender come on into a game, are they, realistically, unless someone gets injured? But I would expect Alex Greenwood to play more in the tournament. There's still going to be a lot of people, obviously a smaller stadium, but I'm excited to go. I think it's great that the games are all being spread out throughout the country. I think we're seeing a different type of fan come to the games now. We're seeing everybody from all different ages, male, female, you know, I feel like everybody's coming to these games and getting excited. I think the Norway game will be completely different to Austria. I think Austria are a really good team. They might not score a lot of goals, but they only conceded three in the qualification. You know, they're very organised. That's one thing I noticed about Austria. But Norway are going to be, a, they've always been a good team. And now Ida Hegerberg is back, you know, after five years not being on the team. She's going to be a massive threat. You know, Graham Hansen as well up front. I feel like we're going to have to really, really take care of two forwards because sometimes yesterday I felt like our back line was a little bit shaky when there was a little bit of pressure but the Norway game I think it's going to be really difficult um, we played against uh, my last game playing against them was in the World Cup in Canada in 2015 and it took Lucy Bronze scoring an unbelievable goal for us to get through so I really think this game's going to be hard and we're going to have to be ready and I think we're going to have to play a lot better I'm going to go for I mean I feel like I have to go for an England win but I'm going to go 2-1 again but I also think it could I, I don't see Norway beating England I don't, but I don't think it's going to be easy.